this is quite arguably the most famous Lamborghini in the world. And today, it's for sale. Fernando, would you restore the Lamborghini Countach or keep it as it is? Uh... We all remember the scene, right? Leonardo DiCaprio high on ludes, dragging himself into a white Lamborghini Countach. Whilst he thinks he made it home safe, he finds out he actually hit pretty much every obstacle on the way home. Did you drive that car? Today, I can buy this car. Now you'd be shocked to know they actually used a real 25th anniversary Countach to smash up in the film. Can you say that again? Yes, a real one. The auction for the car will be hosted by Bonhams and it would take place at Abu Dhabi just before the F1 race. And I guess after years of rebuilding some interesting crash damaged cars, they thought I might be the perfect buyer. So, I've been invited. We are here at the Yas Marina circuit. It's like a couple of days before the race. I feel the buzz. I'm excited. I'm nervous. First time ever at an F1 race. I'm excited to see the car as well. So this is absolutely unreal. Just a normal lad from Leicester and Abu Dhabi F1 coming to see a car which could potentially sell for million, millions. Let's see. Let's get inside then. We, we, I don't even know what to expect. Let's go. Let's get in. So let's get this straight. A mint condition 25th anniversary Lamborghini Countach are selling for around £395,000, which is around $500,000. So the Wolf of Wall Street one shouldn't sell for any more than that, right? Well, I guess we're about to find out. We're inside Bonham's auction. Come take a look. So these are all the cars that are going to be auctioned off on the grid on Saturday. And this is the usual stuff that they do auction. These are like multi-million pound cars. Cars with like really a lot of history as well. Of course, the personal favourite, the Mercialago SV. What a car. That looks unbelievable. We just spoke to the guy who hosts all the auction and I said, I'm thinking about buying the Countach to restore. And he looked at me like, he, he was shocked. It blew he? his mind. He was like, it's a piece of art. You can't, you can't repair it, but watch us <laughs> yeah i mean i guess it like glorifies like the movie over the the car doesn't it it's two million to 2.5 million for a 911 1993 porsche it's a carrera rsr would you keep it like that you've got to yeah just you've got to keep or it like just that. clean just the windscreen so you can see <laughs> yeah, where you're going yeah. <laughs> So you guys get the idea of the type of car that the auction off here. So the Countach is definitely going to stand out, but we haven't seen it yet. What is it? We're not allowed to film yet, but it is literally there under the cover on a pallet. And it looks absolutely battered. Like they've done the suspension as well. Nuts. So here's the write up on the car. But if you win it, not only do you win the car, you also win the full costume of what DiCaprio was wearing during the shoot. A chair, two DVDs, <laughs> and a clapboard, all signed by the director and Wolf of Wall Street. So it's 100% worth every penny now. It's the two DVDs that swayed me. But it wasn't long before the Countach arrived in style. So here it is, the first time seeing it. It looks absolutely battered. <laughs> and the fact they're bringing it in on a, uh, a pallet truck uh, <laughs> kind of says it all, really. They've even damaged the suspension. Like, the film crew really rent in, and we'll get into the whole story in a minute because the guys have told us exactly what they've done to the car and why it's as bad as it is because the damage they did on camera wasn't as bad as what they've actually done. Look at the state of it. <laughs> Hopefully they don't drop that. It can't get any worse, to be fair. <laughs> yeah, it literally... How is that pallet holding it? It's true. After the stunt driver crashed it, the director didn't think it looked crashed enough. So they continued to ram the car with a pickup truck and then hit various parts of it with a sledgehammer. <laughs> But did all of this increase the value of it? So here it is, the Lamborghini Countach from the Wolf of Wall Street. 
a real contest. I cannot believe they've done this to it. But check this out. It's expected to sell between 1.5 to 2 million dollars. Now, that makes it way more, way higher priced than one actually in good condition. So the question is, is it worth more in this condition or is it worth more restored for me if i'm buying it i'm restoring it but i know a lot of people would disagree with that but we are staying for the live auction so we'll find out exactly how much this car sells sells for and if it goes for the right price then you know i'll be putting a bid in now you can already see how badly damaged this Kuntash is and there's one thing i've noticed which doesn't quite sit right for me the front bumper this big piece on here was only on the us spec models Normally, they look like this, but in the US, the European front bumper didn't meet the US required bumper height. So maybe that's something we can change if we rebuild it. The question is, is it rebuildable and how much is it going to cost? The sledgehammer, which has supposedly been used to smash up the rest of the car, they've even gone in on the exhaust on the back. You see the exhaust tips? They're like full on dented. And the parts for this are next to impossible to find. I've searched on eBay, you can't find any second hand parts. But these are the parts that I have found. Rear quarter, £5,194, which I actually think is reasonable. I take that back. You don't get the full rear quarter. The front piece here, which yeah. is five grand, and the rear piece is £1,300. Bonnet, £1,361. See that bit of bit of white covering the headlight there just yep. that piece there 1641 pounds so more than a bonnet <laughs> for that <laughs> yeah. little bit there side skirt which runs all the way from the front all the way down to the rear arch lining 6078 pounds and i think you need two front bumper just this lower section here 750 pounds there's supposed to be a front arch trim on that 468 pounds for them for one wheel it's £2,029, but for one of these tyres, which are specially made for that wheel, £2,866. The tyres are more than the wheels. The tyres are more expensive than the wheels. And that is that is all I accounted for, but there is other stuff, like the wing mirror's broken, the suspension's broken, the arch lining's gone, there's front grills which have gone. There is a lot more which is going to go into this car. But as you guys know, there's a lot of cross-referencing we can do on these older Lamborghinis. So we may be able to save a lot of money on a lot of parts. On the Kuntas, I don't know. We'll have to look into it more. They definitely haven't got Ford indicators. That hasn't got any indicators. No, <laughs> no seatbelt on the driver's side. He's not going anywhere, so I don't need to worry. <laughs> it, I think it's right, though, what I said. I think this, it was a stunt driver that did all the crashing and we think maybe you'd have to wear a harness. That would be true, yeah. But why would you take the seatbelt out to do that? So the question is, do you keep the Kuntash as it is or do you restore it? I went round and asked a few people their opinion. How much do you think that is going to sell for? Probably like 800,000. If you bought it, would you rebuild it or would you keep it as it is? I would rebuild it. Yes, so that is exactly it, what that. How much do you think it's worth in that condition? Four million. Probably like six million, I don't know. If you bought it, would you keep it like that or would you restore it back to how it was? Keep it's it like a, that? Yeah, keep it like that. It's... How much do you reckon it's worth? Like that? Three or four hundred. Bought it, would you restore it or would you keep it as it is? Keep it as it is. I've got to say five hundred thousand. If it's drivable, then yeah, 100%. You'd restore it? Yeah, yeah, well, uh, yeah, why not? 500? 500? Uh, it's going to be like 50 million. You'd you'd probably keep it. it as is. Keep it as it is. Keep it as it is and you'd restore it. Yeah, I'd restore it. Fernando, would you restore the Lamborghini Countach or keep it as it is? 100% uh, restored. I would like to use it, yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. Now, because I'm thinking about buying it to restore, the question is, can it actually be put back on the road? Because damage like this looks like, in England, it'll probably be a cap B, which is really, it can't really be put back on the road. Because they're showing the actual VIN number, we can actually call vertical check this car. And because all the damage has actually happened on set, it's not gone through insurance, we have a fully clear check. So no mileage fraud, no crash damage title, and, um, yeah, it's never been damaged. I can actually see as well here, it's looking around, it's done 14,000 miles on the clock, which is, it's quite high, really. No issues on the title. 
and damage, no records found. That's because it's not been registered as damaged. But that's quite interesting. So if I ever repaired it, I could put it back on the road. I can see the timeline of the car. So this car was a, a US car. I can see when it was registered and how many title changes it's had. And it's only had two owners. So I'm assuming one from new and then whoever sold it to this film set maybe. Quite interesting as well. And there's loads more car vertical can do. Let me explain. Let's say you've checked a car out and Car Vertical have found out that it's previously been involved in an accident. Well, if it was auctioned off at a car crash auction website, it's likely they'll show you the photos of the damage. Just like this Mercedes here. So to check your car, a friend's car, or a car you're potentially about to buy, click the link in the description box below. And on the check, use code MATT for discount. Hopefully you won't find any hidden history like this Lamborghini Countach. Right, let's go see what people think. It's the night of the auction, and I had to get ready to bid on this thing. First off is registration. One, one. This could be a big mistake. <laughs> then we'll get our paddle number. But just before it goes on the grid, I wanted to get a few words from the auctioneer. It's a very unique piece. It's a little bit different, obviously, to what we normally sell. Um, I suppose in some ways you'd probably call it art more than, more than a car, if you know what I mean. How much, realistically, do you think it's going to be hammer down price on? Look, it, it's an auction, so anything can happen. It's not like you stick a car up for sale and see what happens. Um, we're guiding it, as I'm sure you've seen, at 1.5 to 2 million. Is there a reserve? There is a reserve. I can't say what that oh. is. Oh, okay. All I, can say, all I can say is the reserve is not higher than the low estimate. Okay. Okay. Okay, that's interesting. That. Yeah, we can that's do that. It. Well, look, let's catch up after the auction. Yeah, and let's have a chat. So <laughs> when after. we're collecting that car from yeah, you. Yeah. <laughs> so, we're just actually looking at the last sold prices of a uh, Lamborghini Countach 25th anniversary. And let's get an all white one. All white one sold for $670,000. That's for a Minter on the road. So a crash damage one, realistically, what are you thinking about? $200,000, $300,000. The only reason it makes it more is because it's been Wolf of Wall Street, but how much more does it make it? Do, uh, for me, 670,000 for a crash damage one, I think that's reasonable. We're about to find out. We're about to find out. <laughs> this was it. It's auction night. And even if we don't win the car, I've had an amazing experience. I've always wanted to go to the F1. So thanks so much, Bonhams, for making this experience happen. I've put their Instagram in the description below. And what a night to reach 2 million subscribers. Dreams really are coming true. Thank you all so much for subscribing. We're on the track. I never thought any of this would happen. But here we are on grid with millions of pounds worth of cars and what looks like some very rich people. Three million four hundred thousand. Three million four hundred thousand. Some of the cars were going for insane amounts of money. I had my max price in mind of the Countach and it wasn't long before it was up. It's a pretty interesting mm. machine here. It's probably the most recognizable Countach in the world. It's the hero car driven by Leonardo DiCaprio in Let's the film and presented in as film Starting condition. Of course, Mr. DiCaprio's character, Jordan Belfort, imagines himself going all the way up. <laughs> driving home on a, a director's chair and a clapboard, both signed by Scorsese, DiCaprio, and Margot Robbie. DVDs. And not one, but two original crew hoodies and two copies of the DVD. Yes. <laughs> Very much, Eric. The 1989 Lamborghini Countach, 25th edition anniversary from the Wolf of Wall Street. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to open a bit here with me at 700, 750,000. Oh, ouch. Bidding already started at $700,000. Just over what I thought it was worth. I guess I was just feeling a little optimistic because some of the other lots went way under the price they expected. But let's see what happens. So it's $750,000 now. This is $750,000 now. It's 800,000. Eight hundred thousand. Oh, it's, it's good. It's good. Eight hundred fifty thousand. No, Thank you very much. Eight hundred fifty thousand. Nine hundred thousand. Nine hundred fifty thousand. Thank you. 
who plays at 950. Nine Jerry goes to 1 million so now. 1 million dollars. Thank you very much. <laughs> 1 million. 1.1. 1 million 100,000 now. This is the most expensive cash damage car right now in history. It's got to be. 1.2 now. 1 million take it. 1 million 250,000. Oh my God. 1 million 300,000. And 350. 1 million 350. Then it's a 1 million 350. 1 million 350,000 now. Going once at 1 million 350. Twice at 1 million 350,000. Fair warning. Last chance, sir. And 1 million 350,000 dollars. And 1 million 350,000 dollars. 1 million 350,000 dollars. 1 million 350,000 dollars. Well, it wasn't meant to be, but what a price. Would you have paid that? 1.3 and a half million. Plus 20%, was it? Plus 20% for a crash damage car. History has been made. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, hit the subscribe button, hit that thumbs up button, and I'll see you in the next video. We've got some projects to get on with.